Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, here to answer a viewer's question. This one comes from Jim, and Jim has a Garcia Mitchell 304, and he's asking me how to set the spring for the anti-reverse function on this uh, this fishing reel. So let's, uh, let's just do that for you. Uh, we're going to start by taking off the side plate, which houses that gear and dog assembly. And when I take those off, I like to put them into a parts tray so that I can keep track of those. This is a parts reel. I'm not quite sure what's inside of it, but uh, we're going to find out. So we're going to remove the three side plate screws that hold it on. <clears throat> and while I do that, I want to uh, suggest to you that if you like these kinds of videos, to please subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, please hit the notification button. I work on all kinds of reels. I work on vintage, I work on salt water, fresh water, current model line, and uh, everything else in between. So you have an anti-reverse that's off now, you have an anti-reverse that's on now, and Jim is asking me how to set that. So I like to remove the tension from this first if I'm going to take the reel side plate out. And here is <coughs> your anti-reverse spring setup. So this should be uh, informative, to say the least, uh, for Jim. Now we have two springs here. We have a compression assembly here. You'll notice as I toggle the switch, this is your switch, that this outer spring, if you will, it's held in by an, a spring on the case, a screw on the case, U-shaped with the beak of it coming out to grab that. When that goes to this position, that dog beak comes in, and that's going to engage with the little ratchet in the back here to hold that in anti-reverse mode. When you trip it out, it pulls it away from that assembly and it allows that gear to run front and back. Well, I'm going to assume for a moment that Jim is not asking about this one. This is a relatively simple one. Just simply remove the screw here, set it in this position so that you can get the, the beak on your lever, and just screw it down. There's no tension there to speak of. I believe this is the one he's going to be asking about. So let's go ahead and take that off to show you how to put it back together again. So here is your spring assembly. <clears throat> it's just a big J-hook, just like that. And to set this, you may have noticed that there's a hole in a dog, and that dog is going to accept the 90 degree angle of the anti-reverse spring. That's how that side goes. Okay, you take the, uh, the J side and you just put that into the hole on the dog and you make sure that the circle end of that is to the, well if you're looking at it, to the right side of the stud. Come on over to the assembly and load the dog over the stud just like that. Now you're going to have the tag end is out. So the tie again just needs to be pulled in so that it rests inside the case. And that's it. That's how you set the spring on that anti-reverse dog. When you okay, so let's just kind of review what we did. We took the dog, we put the 90 degree angle inside of it, we wrapped it underneath, we left the tension off the spring on the back side of it, put that over the stud and then move the arm into place. So we'll do it one more time just because we can. We have the J spring, we have the 90 degree facing up. We're going to want to take the dog, properly oriented, put the 90 degree spring in underneath and then get the clearance for the stud so it looks like this underneath. Once we have that stud set up then, we want to just take the assembly and load that over the hole over the stud. Just like that. 
move the bar over to the side and then swing the spring arm to rest inside the case lip just like that. Press down to make sure that it's all holding the way it should. That's engaged and then if you flip that lever that's how it stays unengaged. And you just have to be careful uh, not to um, jostle this thing as you're um, going to reinstall. It can shoot out. It's unlikely, but it, springs are springs. They can jump. And the tension on the side case here is actually what's pushing that spring to hold the dog in. And the cam here is holding it out uh, when it goes to off mode. So that's it. When you go to install your main gear, make sure that you're in the off position so that you don't have to wrestle with trying to get the, the dog to set inside the teeth. Put the main gear in, switch it over, make sure that you have an operational anti-reverse, which we do, and that's it. So Jim, I hope that's helpful to you and uh, to our viewers that may have questions out there about how to do this. Well, there you go. That's how you set the dog spring. Thank you.